In this session, we'll take a look at Autodesk's dedicated uninstall tool. Now, I'm currently sitting here at my desktop. Let me mention that this computer represents a machine that I use for testing purposes. Taking a look at the icons, you can see that I have a couple Autodesk applications installed. Generally speaking, I've been running Civil 3D 2017, InfoWorks 2017.1, and I've got a version of Recap on this machine. Let me also mention that I participate in Autodesk's beta program, which gives me the ability to access several Autodesk applications in a pre-release state. I can then evaluate new features and log possible defects. That being said, if you would like to participate in this same program, you can visit beta.autodesk.com to sign up. At any rate, I would like to uninstall this version of Civil 3D 2017 to free up space such that I can install and test some other applications. Normally, when we do an uninstall, we may come down to the Start button, visit the Control Panel. From here, we would choose Uninstall a Program, and then we would select our desired application from this list. Now, with an application like Civil 3D, when this is installed, additional applications are installed at the same time. To remove everything, I would select not only the Civil 3D, I would also have to select all of the subcomponents as well. This can be challenging if you're not sure which of the other applications should come off, and even if you do know, each one must be selected and uninstalled individually. There is a quicker way. Let me click the X to close this dialog box. Instead, I'm going to come down to the Start button. I'll choose All Programs, and then inside the Autodesk folder, we will find a dedicated uninstall tool. I'm going to select this, and then I'll choose Yes to allow this application to make changes to my system. This brings up the Autodesk Uninstall tool. Let me click to collapse these entries. Here we can see the major Autodesk applications installed on my machine. I'm going to click to expand Civil 3D 2017, and in here we can see all of the additional applications that were installed along with Civil 3D. If I want, I can uninstall these sub-applications by selecting the checkbox, and then I would click the Uninstall button below. If the removal of a subcomponent would negatively affect the overall application, I'll see a warning. Let me click Cancel. In this case, I'd like to uninstall Civil 3D 2017 and all of its components. I'll do that by selecting the overall application, and then I'll come down and click Uninstall. When the process is finished, my Civil 3D 2017 and all of its components will have been uninstalled using only a couple clicks of the mouse. This strategy works great when you're working in a testing environment like I am. It can also be very helpful when the time comes that you'd like to remove an older Autodesk application to make room for a newer release. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.